My name is Leo and I'm on a gap year program here in Israel. My name is Ella Dennison, I'm from Manchester. My name is Katie Webb, I'm from Bushy. My name is Dan Jager and I'm from London. When people think of Israel, they think of holiday with their family, they don't think of what Israel actually is and it's amazing to see everything. It's one of the best things about being here, that the things that happen which you can't predict and we get to do them by having as much fun as possible. I feel like when we're living on a gap year, we take a lot from Israel. So being able to give back by volunteering in a school makes the whole experience feel a lot more rewarding. You really feel like you can get through to them and knowing you're teaching something which they're going to be relying on later on in life. Here at this school we put on activities for the children after we help them with an hour of English homework. One of the volunteering activities we do is delivering and making food parcels which we deliver to the struggling people in Bayam. As part of my gap year programme, I come to the centre and I'm volunteering with the kids, I'm playing with them, I'm doing games with them and art activities. We've got kids who are before surgery and after surgery and recovering, and so they need to, something that'll take their minds off surgery and just make them happy and feel like kids. The kids are so happy and they're so happy for each other when they finally get their heart breach and they're constantly showing you their scar to say like I've had my heart operation now I can go home and it just kind of makes you feel like they're happy here but they're really happy to go home as well and you kind of feel like your job's done. As part of my gap year programme I've been volunteering with the ambulance service. As well as giving back it also makes you feel like you're needed and wanted. It makes you appreciate everything that you have and how lucky I am to even be in Israel. We're also learning, and I never knew so much about the Israeli society. I think learning Hebrew does put you more in touch with Israeli culture. Uh, Hebrew isn't an easy language whatsoever, but I'm getting there slowly. There can be no doubt that engagement with Israel through a significant education experience in this country, be it on summer tour or on gap year, offers a tremendous opportunity for young British Jews to engage with their past and with their future. I'm hoping that from being Jewish and being here in Israel, when I go back home to my local community, I can try and encourage other young people to think about this as a serious option. I couldn't imagine like, how I would be next year going to university without having had this experience this year. This program has given me a lot of responsibility with my own affairs, living with other people and getting to understand their views and getting along with them as one. If you take a look at many of the graduates of youth movements today who have gone on to assume leadership roles in the communities, in their synagogues, in communal organisations, many of them, if not all of them, are graduates of Israel engagement programmes through UJA. Being in Israel, I've definitely focused on Jewish identity because I've learned that not everybody's religious here, but they're all very strongly Jewish, and I think that's a very important thing. I get great satisfaction from being amongst them in this amazing country which has so many different cultures and different peoples. Being on my gap year in Israel has changed me for the better. I feel so much closer to Israel and I've experienced so many things that England just doesn't offer. This gap year is something I'm never going to forget, ever.